have a senator that has been patiently awaiting us, and I want to uh, bring them into the conversation, talk about this escalating trade war, the kinds of solutions that could bring uh, some calm back to uh, U.S.-China economic relations. Uh, senator Marsha Blackburn is here, Republican of Tennessee. She's on the Commerce Committee's Trade Subcommittee. You've been listening to this debate, I imagine, Senator. We th by the way, thank you for your patience uh, sure, this morning. Sure, absolutely. When, when, when you look at what, uh, frankly, the president's saying on, on Twitter this morning and the reaction that the Chinese uh, had even in the past 24 hours, where do you see the leverage in this? And what do you think the cost is uh, to Americans, American consumers, American citizens? One of the things I have to say is I agree that American companies and innovators need to be able to protect their intellectual property and force China to abide by. They've been in such violation of WTO rules and out of compliance and the technology transfer and the amount of value that American innovators lose in this forced technology transfer. This is something that I, I'm pleased the president is addressing. And you all are looking at market volatility, and I get that. Yesterday, I was up on the plateau in Tennessee with about 50 local leaders, um, employers. Some of them are exporting, some are importing. And here is what they continue to say. Number one, because of the tax cuts and because of deregulation that has happened under the Trump administration, their economy is good. Main Street and small businesses are doing well. Their problem, finding workforce. Problem with finding workforce is worker education, workforce education. Right. And they're looking for that when it comes to trade. Yes, they're looking at ag products and they are saying if President Trump needs to move forward with this to get China to the point that they are a trustworthy partner and we know that they're not going to be lying, cheating and stealing, then so be it. And looking out for these ag products in Tennessee, it's soybeans, it is pork. Uh, we also have lumber that is exported and lumber that is imported, both softwoods and hardwoods. So I think that the economy at that local level, right. more granular than what you all are talking about, is healthy and robust. S Senator, they but, want but a, a resolution. Crit a critic would say that, that, that we should have much better growth in this country given the tax cuts, that effectively the president is, uh, you know, uh, slow things down by, by pursuing by pursuing this approach, even if you believe that, that there, there's a long-term benefit. We're now subsidizing the farmers to the, extent, to, to the extent that there are critics out there and there are consumers and customers and citizens who believe they're being hurt by this. You say what? I say there is a way that we can begin to get some relief, and it is to put the USMCA on the floor. Nancy Pelosi needs to schedule this. When I talk to Democrats in the House, they say, look, this is going to get 300 plus votes. You've got the Farm Bureau, the UAW, the Teamsters, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, all for this trade agreement. Pass that. Show that we can make a decision. We can stand with an agreement. Get that done. Move on to China. Japan is in process. Look at what is transpiring in the EU and the UK. But I'm going to tell you what. I think that we need to be tough on China when it comes to intellectual property, this forced technology transfer, and we need to be very tough with them about Huawei because that is what will underpin their spy network and we cannot allow them to get a foothold globally Senator, with that network. let's talk about Huawei for a second. Sure. Huawei has access to our American court system in a way that I don't, or nor does anybody else. So they can come here they can litigate on a patent, they can get in discovery my IP, and they can steal it. I can't do the same thing in China. I can't protect any of my products there. I don't have that's access right. to that system. How about this idea? Why not put a company that's a bad actor on a commerce list that says they're a bad actor and do not allow them to have access to the American court system while they are a bad actor on that list? How about that? Until we have a level yeah. playing field, why can't I protect my IP like they can protect theirs? This is so unfair. Why don't we fix it? 
I, I agree with you that it is unfair. And when you go to Shanghai to the IP court, it is so frustrating. And I can assure you, for a lot of the entertainers that are working about five miles, three miles from me here in this studio in Nashville, they totally agree with you. And I heard you say that earlier. That is an idea that should be up for discussion because Huawei will say, well, we use some U.S. manufactured components. But the issue is <coughs> Huawei embeds that spyware into these networks, these chips, are so small, you cannot detect them until they begin to transmit to an outside receptor. And at that point, they are into your network and they are spying on you and they're manipulating Sen the data within your network. So, Senator, um, I have lots of problems walling with them Huawei, off. But I, I just want to, a point of clarification You're, you will be the first person, uh, at least officially from the U.S. government, to make the statement you just made about. Uh, these devices that you believe are in all Huawei, uh, all, all, Huawei all Huawei devices. We had uh, actually uh, uh, Secretary of State Pompeo, and we asked him directly, you know, how much of a national security threat is, what is the evidence, and we have yet to hear the evidence. Can you tell us, I mean, if in fact you're, you're right, can tell us more about that evidence, but I will tell you, you you're the first to really uh, articulate it that way. Well, from the things that I have read, you know that Huawei is embedding. This is why we are concerned about working with them. When you look at where Mofcom is and the industrial, military industrial complex in China, tell me where one starts and where one ends. And the issue is Huawei is a state-owned company and China is looking to push Huawei technology forward around the globe. And with our allies, why do they want to do this? They want to spy. Why do, how are they doing it? They are embedding spyware into their hardware. And certainly from the things that I have read, then I believe that this is something they're looking to stand up their, their cyber warfare unit with. And we have to be very careful how we deal with Huawei. And I think that it is worthwhile to look at intellectual okay. property and Huawei and draw a hard line on that Senator. as we look at solving the trade issues that have existed with China. Senator Blackburn, we appreciate uh, you joining us this morning and we, we always like to have you on. And uh, thank I'm you. Sure we'll talk very Good soon. Good to again. be with you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, we want to bring